This is CTV News with me, Jung Lee. As liberals cruised to victory in three out of four by elections across the country last night, including a major upset in South Surrey, White Rock. With the next federal election less than two years away, the significance people give these results depends on the party they support. CTV's Ben Milger has more. <laughs> Gordy Hoag has won elections in White Rock before, previously serving as mayor and MLA. But what he accomplished with Monday's by-election victory hasn't been done in nearly 70 years, convincing voters in White Rock, South Surrey, to send a liberal to Ottawa. I'm feeling quite buoyed and excited in terms of the, the community and the community that I've, as I said, I've lived in all my life and my chance to engage with them over the course of the last 36 days. Former Surrey Mayor Diane Watts stepped down as the Member of Parliament to pursue provincial politics, leaving the longtime conservative seat vacant. Hope won by 1,500 votes, capturing 47% support. Ecstatic to flip the riding, liberals were quick to credit the popularity of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Hello, everyone! He dropped into the riding twice to campaign with Hope, something the candidate thinks was a factor in his win. His energy, his thoughtfulness, and I think his engagement and his message about wanting to ensure that we take messages from our community to Ottawa, not the inverse. Conservative candidate Carrie Lynn Finley doesn't think the Prime Minister's popularity pushed Hogue over the top. The former cabinet minister under Stephen Harper blames the timing of the by-election call. We only had four weeks. I was nominated a whole week into a five-week by-election, so we lost 20% of the time. Just over 30,000 votes were cast in the by-election, well below the 56,000 voters who turned out in 2015. Ben Milger, CTV News, Surrey.